Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Nice. Nice to see you. Tonight is the last class. Very nice. Yes. Good. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to start by checking the attendance as we usually do. Remember that tonight was the last chance for you to finish the platform. So it's very important that you finish. Uh, then whenever the other people join the class, we're going to check if somebody's missing. Hopefully everybody finish, okay? All right, so we are going to check, let's see here, the attendance. Okay, Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Present. Good. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Herman Alexander Durán Linares. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present teacher. Good. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. Jose Alberto Baños Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Cara Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Good. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Zulma Janet Ramírez Ábalos. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. David Alexander Rodríguez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Is somebody missing? Is anybody? Anes, okay, let me see. Yeah, I got you. And okay. Okay, Jamie, I got you. I can check you here. Oh, head of mine's here, right? Here. And I guess the rest of people, I got you. All right. Very good. So uh, tonight is the last class. Uh, well, for, for first of all, we're going to check if somebody is still missing. Let me see here. According to my information here, is still missing to finish anything here. Uh, let's see. Oh. 1992-38. Lucy Natalie. Is Lucy here? Oh, it's not here. And uh, uh, she's the only one actually that's still missing something. So hopefully she can join so we can check. The rest of you, uh you have enough enough material so you can move on to the next one. That's very good, my friends. Okay, okay. So tonight, uh, well, we had a homework. Do you remember? That is to make a presentation about whatever you want. No? This is your time. So it's not necessarily a presentation itself. If you didn't have the, the time to make a presentation, that is fine. But you can speak about something, right? Present something, discuss something. That is uh, the important part here is to practice English. 
much. Okay. So the question is, who wants to be the first one? Ah, oh, Lucy's here. Hello, Lucy. Hi, teacher. How are yeah. you? I'm very well, very tired, and I well, it's some medical, you know. Uh, tonight yeah. uh, I I work in San Salvador, but I live in Santa Ana, and there was an accident with chorros, and I thought oh, I God. was not going to make it, but I made it, so I'm very happy that I'm here. So <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> yes. Hey, Lucy, I was looking for you because you're still missing some parts in the platform. Yes, um, I'm ready. I'm I'm already trying to finish that, but um, for some sections I have a problems. I don't I don't know if this like uh, like a uh, punctuation or or other other word that I can in in spell or writing. But I I was trying and trying and I don't know what that is is failed. <laughs> Yeah, there in the group, in the chat group, uh, there are some of those problems solved. So you can look for yes. those there and give it a shot, please, because you have okay. until midnight. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, my friend. So we were saying that you are very anxious to speak and present whatever you want to present. So the time has come. Who wants to be the first one to present? Uh-huh. What is the topic, teacher? Whatever you want to discuss. Okay, you talk about uh, what my case, what I want. Whatever you want, yeah. So you are going to discuss about a topic. I mean, you can say something, uh, you can read something, and then we can discuss about it. So, some later. Okay, um... For your information, I am. I was uh, a collector a collector of coins. Of coins. Okay. I, I collect uh, coins specifically from El Salvador. I like it. I like to uh, in order to keep the coins is know the history. What is the history of the coins of El Salvador? I know the history from the cacao to the introduction of, of, of dollar to El Salvador in, in, for, in the, the government is forgotten the, 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 the column, the, the column, the, the national currency. Yes, I collect. I collect the coins. Is um, the most antique coin I I have is one one thousand eight hundred ninety two. Is the first the first coin in El Salvador. The first the first coin made in El Salvador is in in, in that year. Uh, El Salvador have a, a mint or house house of the coin uh, for uh, it's a, a factory to create the, the coins in El Salvador in mm -hmm. only only work uh, four years um, that's it <laughs> oh my goodness that is very interesting you know I really like coins and um the material you you have different dates different times uh, coins so do you believe that the material is different from the coins from the past and the coins that we have at the end yes and the the most the the, the material most common in, in the past is what uh, is silver and and gold and copper but the but the but the copper coin is not too much like it to the people. It's only because only prefer silver coins and, and gold coins. At this time, at this this time, the the the, the material is is normal. It's like a nickel, 
is like um, it's a it's a mixer from different materials. Nickel, uh, I don't know what is the, the other, but the, do if you see if you want to see a a silver coin in this from this year is very difficult. It's only for the coins is only made for collectors. It's not for 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 currency public. Very interesting. How many coins do you have? Um, I have. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know <laughs> exactly. I don't know what is the quantity, but I think one hundred and fifty. Don't so. Uh, only, guys. only from the Salvador. Not uh, oh. not other country, only in Salvador. Hey. Yeah. Because because if you have I in my case, I have a, a coin of five cents. The five cents is they have many years, many years. One 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 eight hundred and ninety two, one nine hundred eleven, one nine hundred uh, 20, 21, <laughs> and the, 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 the last was in 2000. Mm -hmm. that was very yeah. good. And by any chance, do you also have bills? Uh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it, bills. Because, <laughs> because it, with, it's for the, the reason is where the money you have, you can buy a bill, with same with same money you can buy uh two or three coins. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, you are yeah, right. In so. the, yeah, in the yeah, and the and the bill is this paper is the how say the the como se dice humedad? Humidity? Yeah, humidity or wet. Yeah, the, the humidity is or wet, yes, is the problem because in because you 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 you, you need to keep the the the, the bills the, the yeah the bills in 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 a weather control I'll say control of way weather control okay. yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's true you have to uh, to invest other things in the bills so okay yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting uh, how old were you when you started this? I mean, how many times, how many years have you been uh, collecting coins? Um, I I started collecting collecting coins in two thousand one. Twenty two years at this. Year. <laughs> I that is yeah. That is I know I know the when the I know where where a coin is fake i know oh. because because the the how say the falsificadores make a, a false coin yeah to, to I don't know. No, yeah this one yeah and i didn't know that they actually do fake uh yeah coins that is interesting very good that sounds very very good Anybody has a question for Daniel about his collection of points? Mm -hmm. No questions. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. It was very interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Good. So I'm going to choose that. Or I don't know if is there any other volunteer? Okay, let's listen to Daniel Arquides. Okay, Daniel's first. Of course, I. <laughs> Why me? Why Daniel? Hey, let me see. I don't have any topic to speak, but I will try to invent something. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I would like to know some advices about you. Uh, because we are planning to have a trial to have a trip in the in December. But I with my friend, my friend and me, we then decided where right, we need a what is the best place to visit. But we have a, a lot of fun place. Uh, for example, um, our, let me see, our possible destination are Colombia, uh, Mexico, uh, Ruatan, uh, Honduras, and Saints. Saint Martin Island in near of Republica Dominicana, but uh, uh, we uh, we are planning. We need to know uh, what is the most cheap. We need, we don't decide it yet, but uh, for me, in my opinion, I prefer visit first. Uh, 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 Mexico, uh, Rivera Maya, I would like to know. By uh, San Martin Island, I saw some videos. It looked like very, very nice. It's so far because it's near of uh, Cuba. Cuba. Uh, but I I will work hard to save so, a lot of money until December, and I will go to the science Martin Island. I only that. Okay, so you decided already that you're going to go to San Martin uh, Island. Yeah. Ah, okay, very good. So you like but huh? Huh? Okay. if you if you have some opinion is uh, what place I call the visit in December. You, yeah, I accept some advice. <laughs> ah, okay, interesting. So, uh, well, from me, maybe one of the questions that I will ask you first, so I can recommend is, what do you want to see? What do you want to experience? Because mm -hmm. uh, all the places have something unique, something nice, right? For example, Mexico, there are people, the food, there are many beautiful places. Colombia is more for the culture, it's more for the people itself, right? Uh, San Martin and Roatán is more for the beach, the ocean, the experience down. So the question is, what do you want more? I would like to, uh, let me see, get a nice time. Uh, I, I prefer to visit a beach. Um, I love the... How do you say vida nocturna? Nightlife. Nightlife. Yes, I love it. I would like to know some disco, uh, the other culture, other language. I think I will practice. I would like to practice English. Maybe San Martin is a good option. I think. Yeah, I believe that based on what you say, probably that is the best option, right? Because, uh, well, I have been in Colombia, very nice place, but I mean, it's not that you're going to have a, a specific place that's good. Uh, a lot of people that visit Colombia, for example, because they want to go to the tour that they do for uh, Escobar, right? So those are the attractions that they have. So uh, there are many good things that you can do in all the places. But of course, the decision is based on what you want to. Okay, because that is the most important. Anybody has yeah. any recommendation for Daniel Kimis to places where he can go? Belize. <laughs> Actually, oh, Belize uh, is a good place to travel to. Then uh, you can practice why? the Tell English. The, the right. English, you can practice it. Actually, there is, if I'm not wrong, is the British English, if I'm not wrong. And the food is pretty similar because it's between Guatemala and Mexico, I, I mean, if I'm not wrong. And you can go, actually, you can go to Ro Roatán through, uh, how to say, uh, in ferry. Okay. I don't know how to say it, but you can ferry go to Roatán in ferry. 
Actually, you can go to Rotan in ferry. But, yes, yes. You can go to Rotan, actually. But if you really want to taste really good food, for me, in my experience, Argentina. For me, is the best. For food. I need to, I don't, I don't like, I, let me see. I need to decide the place, but no spend a lot of money because I only get saying my have only $1,000. Uh, only $1,000 need to, to spend for, for, for my trip. Go, go, is Belisa go to show one with uh, $1,000? Actually, actually, it is because you can go to Guatemala and pay the, the in the, um, you, you can pay just just pass to Guatemala and then you pay just like uh 30 35 dollars to go to Belize and then the ferry it depends of the of the season but the most expensive ferry travel that you can pay it's just uh, 75 dollars actually it takes you from Belize to Roatan and then it needs to go and go back no, and actually, nowadays is not. I think I don't know if I'm wrong, but in my case, I prefer to to do a check in in an Airbnb, not in a hotel, because hotels nowadays are too expensive for for foreigners. Actually. Okay. Yes. Thank you for your advice, Erica. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> How are your vacations? Yes, I apply yeah. any because. If I try to enjoy it, I need to play it now. <laughs> we need pictures. Yeah. Whenever that happens. <laughs> Daniel, a lot of a lot of money, brother. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I work hard for a long for all the year, all the months. For ease, I I I need I'll... to enjoy my vacation. For ease, I decided oh, to visit. Yeah. Wow. You you recommend there, my friend Daniel, uh, Re, Dominican Republic. The beach okay. is a beautiful beach. There, there For example, a... the beach the... the Boca Chica. Boca Chica I... is is a, is a beautiful I... beach. I mean, the side is a, the the side the color white. And the uh, color in the in the water is a uh, turquoise. That's outstanding. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, let's check onto that one as well. You know, no, now no. now you 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 Jake. talking about that one. I'm going to surf because I need some patience. Yeah, question. Well, I'm going to take that as well. <laughs> Very good. Any other recommendations or questions for the yeah. Daniel? Yeah, uh, Daniel, you you are single. You don't have uh, some. Ah uh, no no no! I am single. I when I uh, have a travel is with my friend, uh, ah, girl okay. and some boy. Yes. Okay. Uh, that that we that share, is the, uh, that we is share the, the, the restaurant. We share the mm, the space for save okay. some money. Very nice. Yeah. Th that is the reason you have money. <laughs> enjoy <laughs> the single. Enjoy the single life. <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's important to live your life very well. So definitely something very nice. One recommendation for me is Cayos Cochinos and is uh, is is near, it's uh, it's close in it's beautiful. And the word is, is to Turco. How do you to say Turkish? Tur Turquoise. Tur 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 and, and you can mm. go and see the coral reef. Reef is uh, arrecife. Yeah, the coral. And, and where is that you say? I'm sorry. Cayos Cochinos in Honduras. Ah, yeah, I heard that as well. And it's not that expensive as from that. But it's near, it's in Honduras. Yeah. Yes. It's a possible option. I, I get a out for the option. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cheap to go. You can yeah. go in car. Okay, thanks for your advice, Carla. 
Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. And, you know, I mean, we're speaking about many things here and practicing English. Costa Rica, also Rica too is very, it's very interesting. It's a good, it's a good country for to know. Uh, the beach is beautiful too. Uh, now, Costa Rica uh, the, has a problem with the security. In the news, say that it's a big problem with the say, security in Costa Rica. I don't know why, but this thing is very problematic now. Like a Mexico, <laughs> but I don't know. I I I have I have gone in Mexico and Costa Rica, and I don't have any problems. Okay. Okay, thank you. And uh, for example, in Costa Rica, I go to the uh, center, and uh -huh. I go in, in in bus on bus, and I, I went alone, and at at the center of the Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Good recommendations. Now you have more options. That is very nice. Okay, now we're going to listen to Erica. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we were talking about Daniel's vacation. Actually, I was thinking to travel to Colombia. Okay. Tell us more about that. <laughs> yes. Because, okay, but, but my work, uh, from my work, I used to travel a lot, but I want to travel a place that I really want to to know the people to to meet the culture to meet the customs everything about that in Colombia for me because first of the coffee <laughs> I love the coffee so I want to taste that 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 coffee that Colombia that made and nowadays uh, it's a little bit more uh, cheaper than than a few years ago actually. And then to Colombia, I want to go to Argentina because it is a little bit more cheaper than 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 Colombia, actually. Okay, very good. Yeah, in Argentina, where are you planning to go there? What are you planning to see? Actually, I, I don't know exactly where to go to Argentina because I just hear a, a, a like a documentary. And I saw that it's, it's cheaper actually with actually like Venezuela. I I I mean the the uh, the money or the, the the dollar there. It has more. How to say it? More more value, more value than than the than the, their own peso. I think or the the peso. I think it is. Mm -hmm. So I. I if you just want to spend one thousand dollars, <laughs> you're gonna be kind of like a rich people, like a rich person in Argentina, actually. So that's what I'm thinking. And and I'm actually I'm doing my, my schedule for, for my vacation. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, it sounds a, a very good plan. Both countries are very close, I think. Actually, that is a good idea to go first to one and then to the other one. So, uh, and then you are able to, in one experience, you have different. Very good. Uh, anybody has a question for Erica? Okay, next one is going to be Ivan Petrovich from Russia. Oh <laughs> uh talking about the the travel in Russia, the modern Russia. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, I mean, it's a it's a it's a liar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't travel Russia. Yeah, it's um I prepare um a little a little topic. Of course. Yeah, uh, a little topic um. Mm, uh, I will talking about the the personal finance. Okay. It's necessary. It's, 
for the people este i think uh, uh, mm, uh, manejar las finanzas finance what to, to manage the finance the money finance um i i i i show i show the the topics uh, the um, finance money for example number one prepare a uh, un budget family in the budget uh you 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 should to show uh prepare the the food uh, different uh, costs uh, for example the the cars rent the house um uh, pay the uh, scolaridad como se how do you say uh, you can say the school bill a school bill but a school bill is 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 most important prepare the budget it's a it's a tool it's a it's un, it's a tool and the the finest person um and the others number two make a saving plans the saving is 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 necessary because uh, uh when uh what do you say un gasto inesperado unexpected case in the expected case, in the expected case, uh, you 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 uh, you are you are uh, at the the savings. Y agarra cómo sería este. Tienes el ahorro. You have the savings and then you get something. Uh, yeah, uh, get the saving and get uh, something. Um. And the others, uh, number three, uh, when I, I, I savings, when I saving, uh, put it and invest, and the difference invest, for example, and the account uh, cuenta plazo. Yeah, that is a trim trim deposit, I guess. Trim deposit, trim deposit. Or uh, crypto money, yeah. Uh -huh. do, you, do you understand the 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 uh, when the function the crypto money? Go ahead, well. Yeah. Um, and the other is the topic is uh do do, do not spend more than you the enter in the house. It's, it's, for me, it's, 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 it's a topic important. Uh, there is a auto auto control. Don't don't gastar. Don't spend. Uh, don't spend. Ga, gastar uh, spend. Excuse me. Spend. Auto control. Do spend. No 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 buy the. ¿Cómo es? Compras impulsivas sería como. Yeah. Don't be compulsive. Buyer, impulsive buyers. Uh, okay, uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, very good. So yeah, the topic is very interesting. The problem is sometimes very difficult, right? Yeah. So uh, because um, you say many things that are very important. For example, savings. Saving is something that everybody has to have. But in El Salvador, it's it's difficult, right? Because okay. of the second thing that you mentioned. So sometimes. Uh, you buy things that you don't. Right? That happens. It's like when you go to Dollar City, right? You want batteries, but you bring a lot of things that you don't need. So that happens. That is the Salvadorian way. Right? So we, and the other problem that you also mentioned is that sometimes we spend more than. The, the, the pro I, I think the problem is a, is a consumism. Cons consumism? Consumism, yeah, definitely. The consuming is a it's a lot of problems. I think the I think the the how do you explain? Uh the systems is the system lo lleva uno a hacerse así. Yeah, it takes you to do that one. It takes to you be that uh, one. Este, you can you can uh, uh, 
a, a Vaya Electrodomotic, electro, Electrodomestics, eh, Refrigerator, Television, uh, what else? Eh, eh, don credit or credit? Yeah, credit. You buy a credit. All, all, the, all the something, all the credit, all, all yeah. the time. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's for, difficult. for the other, for the other scenario, the the salary in El Salvador is very long, very, very long. Yeah. Yeah. So that is true. I mean, the salary is not that high, and we want a lot of things, right? So because, for example, maybe the most common example on this one is is the cell phone, right? You have a nice cell phone that it works, it's fine. But you see another cell phone that is better with a better camera or something, but you don't need that one. You just want that. And then you say, okay, I'm gonna buy the other one because that's why I work. <laughs> that's what we say, right? So uh, that's the way it is. And yes, of course, uh, if we watch the social media or the TV, they are, Telling you buy this right, this new TV, this new refrigerator, and you want everything. So that is a, a big problem. That is a big problem. I believe that not only for El Salvador, but in Latin America oh. is like that. Latin America is uh, we are like that. In other countries, they are not that consumist, and also they have more money, right? So that makes a difference. Um, the, but, the other, yeah. uh, the the other is uh, uh, problem uh, identified in El Salvador: the price, the price, and the difference. Uh, something, uh, house, uh, car, in hamburger, is the same price in the United States. It's it's true. That is true. Yeah, when you buy a TV or something like that, it's going to be. Sometimes more expensive because you have to pay taxes for the introduction of the products into the country, many other things. So, yeah, it's a big problem. So, but that's the way it is. So, uh, yes, you know, I try to save money, but sometimes it's not possible. I have a little money and then I say, I'm going to go on vacations, right? Yeah, and I don't have money. Or I'm going to buy this big TV because I really like to watch TV. And uh, that's it. I don't have money. So it's very... It's very interesting. It's a very interesting topic, and we have to do it, but it's difficult. It's difficult, right? Because, yeah, maybe the best thing is not to go out. <laughs> because if you stay at home, at least, I mean... If stay going, at home. Or, or stay at home. <laughs> yeah, that, that is much better. If you go out, ah, a lot of money is getting... Watching out. the TV, sleep in the sofa. <laughs> yeah. Even even like that, sometimes you say I'm going to order Pizza Hut, right? So <laughs> sometimes that happens. Even even watching TV, you're looking at advertisement to shop this and shop this and get and this exactly. and get something. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher, I have a question. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, he he talk he he talk about things for home for the house. Mm -hmm. I don't know if if I'm wrong, but I remember sometimes someone said goods goods. Home goods, it's the same. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, okay, because there are... for, uh -huh. for credit, I'm sorry, I don't know if, if it is correct, but I use this this word every day in my work. Um at work and it's loan. It's yeah. better than credit, it's the same and it has different meaning because every time I saw revolving cards, a student loan. Auto, auto loan and or goods loans or personal loans. I don't know if it is different, it's better, it's a little bit more advanced word. It depends. That depends on the context. So for example, if you speak about credit, is the ability that you have for you to pay things. So they evaluate your um what you can pay, let's say, in every month. So something like that is like credit. That's why we say credit card, some other things. But when you say loan, it's in a specific amount that you request or a product or a service that you request, and you will be paying that by little by little. So it's related. It's not exactly the same, but it's, it's kind of related. So credit is 
the ability that you have for you to pay about something. And the loan is itself the money that you receive or the product or service that you have to pay uh, little by little. Okay, and, and that's make me uh, have another question. You talk about credit card. Mm -hmm. We said revolving card. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of the same like, as a loan and credit or something it's, different? A revolving card is more related to a credit card. It's like for credit because uh, there is a specification depending on, on the bank or the financial system that is going to tell you what you can do and what you cannot do or what the amount or if you want to fill or if you want to do some of the things. But that is more related to the credit itself. Uh, and the loan is more related to banks or financial system. So credit sometimes it can come from different, different, uh, how can I say, institutions, but the loans, they are, mostly for the financial institution. So that will be the main difference. Okay, thank you. Because I since I, I started working uh, I'm at work, I had that question between revolving and credit current loan mm -hmm. and credit or personal credit or personal loan. <laughs> I had that question. <laughs> yeah, there are okay. sometimes there are legal or uh how can I say that there are names that are for example a mortgage. A mortgage is when you have a loan for the house. So you live in the house, but it's not your house. So, uh, and I don't know if you have read here in El Salvador, what happens when you get a loan for a house or for anything, any loan in a bank, and then in the little letters that are sometimes we don't read, there it says that the bank, they can change the amount that you will pay whenever they want. So it's a big problem, that thing, because if they, economics in the country gets a crisis the only thing that the bank has to do is to send you a paper starting next month you are going to pay this and the problem is that i mean you need a loan if you need a mortgage for a house you cannot get the credit if you don't find the, the papers right so you have to do it so is is you have the loan or you don't have the loan it's something like that it's like when google says uh, do you accept the terms and conditions, right? I mean, if you don't accept, you don't use Google, right? It's, it's just like that. So that happens in this little situation, that the bank, they have the ability of that. But of course, also the financial system is also uh, regulated by the government and some other institutions that are, they try this not to happen. Uh, they try to regulate, they try to give to the bank some facilities so they are going to be working more fluent way so it's a very interesting topic i was uh, you know I, I used to work for a bank and i know a lot of things that one maybe if we meet in the advanced module that is for the financial one there we are going to learn lots of things about it's very good very interesting would any other questions Okay, so uh, we are going to listen now to, let's see, who has it? Uh, David Alexander. Hi, did you're in traffic, sorry. Okay, so we're going to wait for you, no worries. Hector Francisco. Hello, teacher. Hello. Are you better now? You feel better? Sorry, teacher. Do you feel better already? I, I remember that you were sick. I am, yeah. The Friday? Friday? Friday. Very, very sick. Friday. Uh -huh. Very sick. The, the end, the weekend is very horrible for me, but now it's no, good. Good. I take a, a two shot. <laughs> I feel better. That, I was going to tell you that joke. You don't want to be sick. Eight injections and that's it. <laughs> okay. What is your topic? Tell us, please. I don't have a topic, a specific, a specific topic, teacher, because it's very difficult for me to uh, have a conversation like my partner. My partner is very high than the level, the English level. I don't, I don't know, but... Um, now in a meeting, 
I have a, a conversation with another people. These people know, know uh, terminos. How say terminos, teacher? Yeah, terms. Term, terms in English. And now use a uh, new for me, one new for me. Now how? Now how uh, uh, search uh, uh, when the the meeting pass? Uh, search, search in the Google and uh, search now house, now house, and uh -huh. and the the meeting is very different. Now, now, uh, search better. the The term is now how is is how many you know for for do something. Um, it's a new word for me, like uh, a couple of years ago, uh, greenhouse. Greenhouse is different, the, the translate in the Spanish. And my problem is a, a trans simple translate or translate simple, like uh, each word. But when you join two words, this, the meaning is different, like a now how. Is uh, I have a know how in my area, area, area. I know about mm, crops, I know about uh, three and uh, different, different uh, topic. It's my know how, but mm, my partner in this class have a different know how, like uh, Ivan Petrovich talk about uh, economic. Uh, Daniel talk about uh, about about the um, vacation. Daniel is a is a rich person, <laughs> <laughs> and Erica talk about the similar topic. I know no, they, no, they, yes. they are very 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 rich no, people. I, <laughs> I, I, I know rich people, but I try. I work hard. I save. Oh, I know. I I joke. I joke. You. I so it's now, my I dream. Know. When I was a whole man, maybe. We have a oh. rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, no, no, it is a, it's a joke. But uh, yes, the, the, the situation is uh, for me the, the 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 problem is translate literally. Literally, is it in, in English? No, is the best way for for new new the, the meaning of each word, but. Um, I will I will try uh, learn the uh, different uh, the verb for me the verb is a horrible it's my uh como mi quebradero de cabeza my uh pain in the neck mine uh -huh, pain <laughs> my, my my head mm -hmm, it's, it's, it's a problem but no, I don't have a topic, a specific picture for 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 talk. Only my uh, this new work, not now for me, and I, I think I must uh, study, learn, maybe each each work in the case, in the bird case, and and work a specific work in my. Aria, like it's 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 it's, it's, it's a difficult. That's it, teacher. <laughs> Very good. Actually, the topic is interesting. I mean, what you do, that is to translate from Spanish to English and vice versa, is something that everybody has done. Everybody. But this is like like a level, you know. You are here yeah. and you have to go here. So. Everybody wants to translate. Everybody wants to, to know what is the meaning of Spanish or English or anything like that. But there is a time when you stop doing that one. If you are able to stop doing that one, then you are going to be more fluent. You will be able to understand better. Because if you do it that way, if you translate, your brain works double. One in Spanish and one in English. And then you stop. And the problem is not only that you stop and, and that you don't know what to do. The problem is that sometimes you are not sure. And that happens because you are afraid. 
you are afraid of making mistakes. So that is the first thing that you need to do. If you do mistakes, whatever, it doesn't matter. That is the first thing. The second thing that you need to do is to listen to yourself. Pay attention, active listening on the ways that you speak and uh, uh, on the way that uh, all the people speak in English. Then, for example, if you say something, you will understand, oh, this is not correct. And you need to try to fix those little things. And practice, practice, practice. I was telling, I, I don't know if I tell everybody, but one thing that you have to do, and not only you, but everybody has to do, is to think in English mm -hmm. all the time. Okay, you wake up in the morning and you say, I'm going to have breakfast, I'm going to have cereal with milk, and then I'm going to run, I'm going to drive my car. If you start thinking in English, that is going to help you because that is the way that people learn. I mean, if you, for example, in mind that I, I tell you tomorrow, I'm going to take you to New York and you are going to live in New York. You are not going to speak Spanish anymore. That is the way that you are going to right? You are forced to speak English. You cannot speak Spanish because if you say something in Spanish, everybody don't understand. So you have to do it in English. So that is something that you need to do. Okay? If you listen to yourself, if you are not afraid of making mistakes and try to correct you and start thinking in English, the change is going to be very, very fast. So that depends on you. Mm. I have a story like you. You talk about uh, New York. Mm -hmm. I lived a couple a couple months in New York. I work work like a, a week week uh, back wet, <laughs> but I'm not back wet. It's a it's a it's a horrible horrible work. But you you, you understand. Um, <laughs> they they use the behind the word is behind. And and people, como diría, como unos meses después, uh, a a couple months uh, later, before, uh -huh, travel in another another uh, place in uh how is the name close to the Washington is a uh, ah I don't remember they use the the the, the same uh, the same word but behind the different pronunciation behind in New York behind in a, in a in this this place now I don't remember but I have a lot I love the Salvadoran here and this is a, the pronunciation is very difficult and they a joke they laugh at me I have because use the, the word behind like uh learn in new york and say hey you are junker <laughs> oh yeah i'm junker <laughs> no i'm not junker i'm salvadorian bye and uh, it's different the pronunciation is very it's like uh like our country here is a use uh i think normal word but in uh, orient in orient in, in san miguel use different pronunciation you know a uh, shira in, in, in San Miguel is different in Chira here in, in San Salvadorian. It's like a uh, vejiga. Mm -hmm. okay. It's different with the, the, the situation. But uh, uh, I, I know the English is very, very rich, like uh, Spanish. Another word is polygust. Polygust, in my translation, is, is poly spirit. But they use Holy ghost is different. They say ghost. Ghost is uh, like uh, people who die and in in appears like a ghost. Not holy ghost. It's a holy spirit. But they use holy ghost. The language is very very crazy because for me it's the holy spirit. But uh, the, the, the situation is in English is a uh, uh, big big. Language like uh, the Spanish, I think, but this it, it, is my history teacher. Very good. And yeah, you know, you're right. 
Uh, a friend of mine, he he graduated from English in the a university, at the National University, and he was very good in English. And he took a job in Canada. He said that he arrived to Canada and he didn't understand anything. Because of that, because of pronunciation, because of slangs, street language, right? That they use and you say, I don't know what is that, all right? So that is normal. That is normal and that happens. I mean, if you speak English with a person from Georgia, for example, I mean, that is difficult. That is something else. Uh, that That is like the normal way. And that is one of the things. I mean, if you speak English, then you can practice in different ways as well. So you can learn different accents, different other things. Very good, nice. We're going to make a little pause, my friends, because we need to finish the uh, the survey. Do you remember that tonight is the last class, right? So for first of all, we're gonna watch the video. I know you have, you have experience, but anyways, we need to check the process. So we're gonna watch the video and then we're going to do the survey. So here we go. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. 
De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a ser enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, so, if you don't have the link, I'm going to send that via chat here, so you know what to do. I know that you have experience, so I believe it's going to be very, very easy. So, um, on the first one, it says that we're going to enter the uh, order de inicio. So I have that one here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I don't have the email. I don't receive anything. Okay, no worries. If you don't receive no, no, that one, okay. we, we can do it here together, okay? Okay. So we're going to open the link, and I'm going to send you here on the chat also the, the first answer. That is... Uh, if it's on four, I'm gonna send you here on the chat. Is that one? And if we go here, number one, there we're going to copy that part. Okay. So you can click on that. And uh vamos a ir juntos. We're gonna go together. So that is the answer for the first one. Teacher, first, I received the information in the chat, maybe. And maybe you can find on the in the chat. Which chat? Uh, send me chat. Uh, Marisol. Marisol oh. Echeverry. Okay. All right. So yeah, you can take it from there as well. And here on the chat of Zoom, I also am sending the information, so you can check it out. Uh, yes. I don't have a link in the information. I, I don't send, receive. I send the link here on the chat of Zoom. You can open it there. En el chat de Zoom les acabo de enviar el link de la encuesta. Ahí la pueden abrir. Y la respuesta a la pregunta. Ok. Pregunta. ¿Alguien falta de, de, de la un número uno, la respuesta? ¿Alguien le falta eso todavía? Vamos a ir juntos para terminar tu gala. Si veo que alguien me está enviando. Ok. Ok, si nadie falta, vamos a seguir. La siguiente está fácil, es el nombre completo suyo, ¿verdad? como aparece en el dubi. Vamos a ingresar el nombre completo en el número 2. ¿Alguien falta de la número 2? Ok. En la número 3 vamos a ingresar el correo electrónico. Okay, ¿Alguien falta del número 3? Ok, en la número 4 vamos a poner su número de celular.
Ok, ¿alguien falta en el número cuatro? Ok, vamos al número cinco. Ahí simplemente vamos a poner el femenino o masculino. ¿Alguien falta del número cinco? Ok, número seis, vamos a poner el departamento donde usted vive. ¿Alguien falta el número seis? Luego el número 7, municipio de residencia. Igual ahí es de digitarlo nada más. ¿Alguien falta del número 7? Okay. En el número 8 hay que tener cuidado. Vamos a poner el nombre legal, la razón social de su empresa. Si usted no sabe cómo aparece, me dice y yo se la digo. Ok, número 8. ¿Alguien falta el número 8 o necesita que le diga el nombre? I don't know if, if, the, if the name of the company is only being with, with capital letters. Ah, let me just check you. Hold on a second. where are you? Salberto. Uh, celulosa y colorante en Salvador S.A. de Y yo lo tengo aquí con solo con capital letters, pero lo, yo creería que lo puede poner como usted quiera. No, no problem. Pero if you okay. want to be sure, capital letters is fine. Ok, thank you. Uh, anybody else? ¿Alguien más necesita esa información? Se la puedo. Ok. Let's continue. In the next one, we are going to enter... Uh, the name of the course that is going to be. Uh -huh. Departamento de residencia es el departamento donde está la empresa. Donde usted reside, donde usted vive. Ok. Ok. In the chat, I'm going to send you the name of the course. Que es el que vamos a poner acá. Good. ¿Alguien falta del número 10? Ok. En el número 11 vamos a poner la evaluación. Recordemos que eso es solamente de la metodología, del maestro, de, de inglés corporativo. Nada que ver con horario, ni el libro, ni cosas por el estilo. Ok. ¿Alguien falta del número 11? Ok, el número 12, vamos a poner la fecha de inicio de curso. Según lo que yo tengo aquí, fue el 12 de julio. So, we're going to go there. Le damos clic. Y vamos a ir a julio. Le vamos a poner 12, que fue un miércoles. Si le sale antes el mes, antes que la, el día, no le importa. That is not a problem. Ups, ese es aquí en esto. Aquí, okay. so, es, sí, mira, es, es. Y la número 13, fecha de finalización fácil, que es ahora. Es el 21 de agosto. ¿Alguien falta el número 12 o el número 13? Que okay, el siguiente, the next one. Eh, satisfecho o insatisfecho, simplemente. ¿Alguien falta el número 14? Ok, el número 15 y el número 16 depende. Si usted lo quiere llenar, lo llena y si no, pues no. Eh, otros cursos el número 15 que usted quisiera obtener y comentarios en general del de curso que estamos haciendo. Recordemos que le damos enviar y luego tenemos que tomar el screenshot o foto y mandarlo al grupo de WhatsApp. Yo voy a decirles ahorita de quiénes ya recibí, para que saben, ustedes van a saber si, si no digo su nombre es porque no he recibido su screenshot. Tengo el de uh, Jazz Cartio, dice acá, no tiene nombre, pero así dice. El de Germán Alexander Durán, 
Zulma Janet Ramírez, Héctor Francisco Morales, Cristian Alexander Arevalo, Nelson Antonio Rodas, Lucy Natalie Juárez, Kenia Cecilia Ruiz, Daniel Antonio Luna, Oswin Alexis Torres, David Alexander Rodríguez. Hasta ahí vamos. Pero los lo demás, no faltan muchos. Acabo de recibir. Teacher, yo, Ajá. Sorry. Teacher, yo agregué mi nombre más abajo. Porque se me ah, mandé el es... no le puse mi nombre. Ah, <ríe> va, ah ok. okay. Good, good. Okay, just a few are missing. Just a few of you. Okay, todavía tengo último Ivan Petrovich. Just want to know. Ok, voy a repetir a quienes tengo. Tengo a Erika Germán Durán, Zulma Ramírez, Héctor Francisco Morales, Cristian Alexander Arevalo, Nelson Antonio Rodas, Lucy Natalie Juárez, Kenia Cecilia Ruiz, Daniel Antonio Luna, Oswin Alexis Flores, David Alexander Rodríguez, Iván Petrovich. Manuel Antonio Escamilla, José Alberto Paños. Creo que solo falta entre dos. Fátima Denise, very good. Creo que me falta Holman. Eh, Daniel Arquímedes, no sé si ya lo envió. Just you, I guess. Acabo de recibir el de Jamie Raquel. Carla Lorena Leiva. Daniel Arquímedes. Creo que solo me falta Jorge Machado. Ok, let's continue then. I mean, no, okay, via Holman. So, uh, we check already a few of you and we still have time. So, let's see. Let's listen now to Jamie Raquel. What is your topic for tonight, Jamie? I honest I I don't I didn't have time for doing the the, the homework. Ah, but you can speak here about whatever you want. The microphone is yours. Okay. Well, I would like to talk about the place that I live. Okay, go ahead. Is a little downtown that is located in 20 kilometers from the center of San Salvador. And it's near 
the is near to the beach too. So it is located in, in a few words in the middle in, in the middle of the the beach of in San Salvador. It's a little downtown is around the downtown it are many trees in mountain and there are a few rivers and I can say the people is very sencilla. I don't know how can I say it. You can say humble. Okay, humble. The people is humble and I, the weather is is it's good because in the night is you feel a little cold, <laughs> but a uh, raining, uh, raining too much because in this place uh, it start the mountain from the from the the coast, la costa. Okay. So, uh, for this reason, it is raining. <laughs> um, the many people, their main activities is cultivate the hair. Um, It's, it's, it's a it's a it's a pretty I believe there is a place there is a pretty place I don't know I I see that because I ground here but I like too much I prefer live here than live in a city <laughs> Um, I grew up here and I grew up with all my family because all my family is nativity or here. So it's, it's a special place for me. Okay. Very good. Oh, all my suspects. Uh, yes, it's uh, interesting, but I would like to know what is the name of the place? Oh, <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> <laughs> it's San Jose Villanueva, La Libertad. Ah, okay, very good. So you have lived there all your life? Yes. Yes. Ah, interesting. And anybody has a question for uh, Jamie? Okay. And her hometown. Uh, what is the typical food there? the most common food that the people mm -hmm. eat. Yes, yes, it is the festi festival of, of corn, festival del maíz. Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Our typical food is, el, is the atoll. <laughs> All right, very atoll. nice. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to I, go there sometime. I believe the next month, I don't know the day exactly um, a weekend for the shores may this the festival and there the the there is a tour for all the people that come here and come many people that another place. Okay, hey, very interesting. Yeah, it seems that it's a very nice place to be so. Someday, probably we're going to pass by. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jamie. Ah, let's listen to Jose Alberto Baños. Okay, teacher. Uh, can I try to share something? Of course, definitely. Thank you.
Okay. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, I want to share with you today uh, something that I learned in my in my work. Um, that is not, uh, I'm not the, the dedicate to painting walls, but it's part of my job to be able to advise my, my customers, my clients, so that they have the, the best result. And that is, I think, there's something that I'll follow we have all done in uh, some time, at, at least one time in a life. And it's very likely that we do, or we don't know how to do it, even if we are not a professional. So how, show, how should a wall be painted? First, uh, we must clean the wall. This is that the this is done, but uh, not only by removing stains or uh, it's also everything that could damage the new paint. Uh, things like uh, stains, fungus, uh, humidity, and raised paint. It's like a bubbles. It, can you see that in a uh, in a in a picture, so that is part of the wall cleaning. For, uh, then we go to repair uh, the the wall in the part of we can uh, find some damage, and when we uh, uh, can apply the, the the paint is is no we don't have the the the, the good results uh, then we go to repair process that may need a new application of cement or plaster and uh we must to or we must also know what type of tools we must use among the most common are brushes, rollers, masking tapes, uh, trays, and others. And the number four, uh, we need to uh, prepare the paint that should be different for latex or for the oil paints, but the mixture is the same. One eighth of water for latex and one eighth of thinner for the oil oil paint for each galloon. And finally, we have the application method. First, we draw the frame of the wall with a brush. And then we paint a very, very large letter W in the center of the wall and we continue painting horizontally until we cover the wall. So that is part of the things that I learned in my job, but uh, is, is, is something that not all the people uh, know, but is, I, and I hope that, that at some point is the information will be of use to you. That's all. Okay, very good, very interesting, very nice. Uh, any questions for Jose Alberto? Uh, is it the same? Uh, is this the same process? It doesn't matter the color that you are going to apply. I mean, or the I, I know that there are different different kinds of paintings, so it's going to be exactly the same, or it's going to be different. But the the, the process, the metal, is it the same for all paints? And the the color is not uh there is not a, a have a problem with the application. Uh, the uni the oh, the only only can 
a, ¿cómo se dice? Tener cuidado. Be careful. Ah, we, we need to be careful about the, the wall, the, tex, the texture, mm -hmm. uh, the texture of the wall, because the tools for paint uh, a wall with, with uh, placed or placed it, is not the same to uh, paint a wall with um, brick, the brick, because uh, the walls with with brick, um, acá le decimos ladrillo visto, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is or oh, need more paint for seal all the 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 poros, <laughs> los poros, no sé cómo se dice. The holes. Ah, okay, that's it. That is the, 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 just the, the, the one thing when we can be careful, we can need to be careful. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I know that there might be some difference. And is there a difference between, I mean, I know that there are paintings of water and paintings of oil. Is there a difference yes. on that? Yes, the, the the latex is the paint of water. And that is uh, only uh, colors like uh, pastel. We say pastel in, 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 in our country. And when we use uh, oil paint, uh, is more brilliant, brilliant, uh, have a uh, brilliant, and the, the, the cover, or the government is, it's more for a, a oil paint, because uh, it's, it's paint with, you can uh, wash uh, with uh, soap or detergent, and, and but the latex paint is is more uh, delicate. Okay. Mm -hmm. The most big, the the oh, la mayoría. The most. Uh -huh. Uh, the most uh, latex paint is for only for uh, two or three years, and. There is a picture uh, or there is a paint when came during uh, eight or 10 years, but it's more expensive. Like. Yeah, I think. Okay, very good, interesting. Any questions for Selberto? Okay, very good, thank you very much. It was very entertaining. Uh, let's listen now to Cara Lorena Leiva. Hi, I I am going to try to talk about some places I meet on a trip that I made to Mexico DF, and I I try to share some pictures. It's in Spanish because I just found. And oh, don't worry. If you speak in English, no problem. <laughs> in the first place I went is uh, Teotihuacan Pyramids. In, in Teotihuacan Pyramids is the ar archeo archaeological, com how do you say? Ar 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 Archaeological sites. Yeah, archaeological sites. And there are the pyramid of the sun or in the pyramid of the moon. I climbed to pyramid of the sun. That is one of the most. This is the one of the largest in the Mesoamerican. And the second is the pyramid, the pyramid 
of the moon. And the second, the second other place that I visited is the Basilica de Guadalupe. And uh, I, I like the architectural uh, and I like the inside the, the, the basilica is a beautiful. And uh, is, uh, there are uh, many, many churches in these sites. In other places, uh, Xochimilco. In Xochimilco, uh, floating gardens. Floating gard gardens of Xochimilco, and you can go for a boat ride in this uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful place. And there are many, uh, many flowers, and there are uh, I don't know how do you say bonsai. That is bonsai. Yeah. Bonsai. In Chapultepec, in Chapultepec, eh, there are a castro, cast, castle, okay. and there are forests, museum, lake, zoo, and botanical garden. But I only visited the castle, the forest, the museum, and lake. This is a, a castle. This picture is a castle of Ch Chapultepec. And I visited the Palacio de, de Bellas Artes. Uh, I could only see it uh, from the outside, but I like the architectural because I am architect. Yeah. And it's a beautiful place. I, I can I can see inside uh, other places also el zócalo uh, el zócalo is a public place in Me in, in Mexico City and I visited to uh, this is the forest of Chapultepec and I visited to uh, Catedral Metropolitana, uh, El Palacio Nacional, and I visited to El Mercado de Coyacán, that is a beautiful place. And you can I was traveling by subway or by a taxi. I seem to travel to Mexico is cheapest and the food is delicious. I, sometimes I I eat in the street. Uh, there are, for example, tacos for the or, or a lot of things. That you can, that you can. This is all. Okay, very interesting, very nice. Oh, you you made a very nice trip. I mean, lots of places, lots of people. I believe that lots of food as well. So, uh, imagine that I want to go to Mexico for let's say one week. How much money do you believe that I I spend one week in Mexico? I went for a uh, one one week. Uh, in the um, el boleto del avión <laughs> se me olvidó. <laughs> the plane ticket. The, it's, it, it, it's cheaper. And the, and 
to eat in Mexico is cheap too. And traveling is too. Is is cheap is too. Cheaper yeah. too. Sounds like a very good. Plan. I don't know, but but I think is the is 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 one is a beautiful it's a beautiful trip and I think that is not expensive. Com for is uh, uh, it's most uh, it's most uh, expensive to travel to the United States. Yeah, I know that is very expensive. Other, others, other countries like uh, Ar 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 Argentina, Colombia, Peru, Brazil. Okay. Very good. Uh, anybody has a question for Carla Lorena? Yeah, very beautiful places and yeah, it sounds like a very nice trip. Thank you very much, Carla. Okay. Good. So now we're going to listen to let's pass it. Sulma, Janeth. Um, hello. I don't have any topic to talk about, but uh, maybe we can. I I can talk about what I like to do on weekends. Okay. Uh, usually we have with my friends one night at mom that we uh, try to to meet and and do and do karaoke. I don't know is is make or do do. Yeah, you can say do karaoke. Do karaoke. Uh, we put the the karaoke in in a friend's house, and we uh, have dinner and sing some songs um uh, uh, we we enjoy that activity with uh, many friends we usually do in the past before the the covid uh, we like to visit uh, some karaoke but with the the pandemic, they close because they the uh, the business don't have many visitors. So we 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 decide to to do in the in the house of the friends, but some neighbors uh, <laughs> start to to accomplish, accomplish. Complain. Complain because of the sounds. So uh, the my friends say we we was to start at 4 p.m. and finish uh, before midnight to try to avoid that the the neighbors complain. <laughs> um, and other activity that we enjoy is to to travel. But this year we didn't do nothing because the economy. <laughs> Maybe the next year uh, we want to travel to Mexico, like the my friend Carla do. Um, I think that we can find some uh, cheaper tickets. It depends when when you start to looking for and maybe try to avoid the 
the date that that is more uh, crowded, like the vacations on December. Uh, so maybe we, we can do the next year. Or uh, we usually use the um, groups uh, that is, I don't know how to say, mochileros, that is more cheaper. Bad packet. Bad packet. Because you don't have to pay for hotel. You use uh, to... Uh, to visit some Iceland, maybe in the Central America, or like Belize, or Honduras. Uh, uh, and we enjoy that because it is not so much people. Uh, the Iceland is just mm, the locals, and we can to put the tienda de campaña that is a camp tent camp tent we can put the camp tent in the beach and enjoy the 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 beach the sea uh, the food it's all okay it sounds like a very good thing how many friends do you get together um, we are uh, about six or eight. Um, they don't can at the same time because <laughs> maybe for his families or, or for his job, but we try to do it uh, something in the year. At least once or twice a year. Okay, yeah, it sounds like a very good activity. I mean, uh, I believe that you have been doing this for a long, long time. Yes, yes. Okay. Very good, perfect. Thank you for sharing, Solma. Any question for Solma? Okay, very good. So let's check now who's next. Fatima. Okay, I'm talk about um, this week. I go to road trip to Guatemala, specifically is Cayala, and I am exciting. I. Uh, I go to at, at Saturday and Sunday and go with my friend. And then just like that, I I want to know the, the city and prove the food and know how 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 is the the people in this country the different people just like that okay very good interesting and uh, uh what is the thing that you saw that it was like the best thing that you saw sorry teacher what is the best thing that you saw on the trip? It's my first road trip <laughs> okay. after to get a American visa. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm, okay, that is good. Maybe let um. Veterans, or how do you say más tarde? Later. Or maybe later, um, go to other country. 
I like to go the the Argentina. To yeah, Argentina. Argentina. Yeah, yes. it sounds like a very good plan. Argentina is a nice place. Okay, very good. Thank you. Do you have any questions for Fatima? Okay, thank you, Holman. Hi. Okay. Hi. Uh, well, today I am talking about the the strange culture. Well, um, I I I love I love the the music. I I like the now now new new kinds of music, but in the in the culture rock, punk, straight, uh, there is a pro for me. There is a problem. Uh, there so it's there is a problem. It's a problem in the world, but uh, <clears throat> also in in my in the in the culture in the in the concerts, there there is the the drugs, the alcohol, the weed. There is a problem in the in the in the world in the in the school so uh, i love the music i love the concerts but i don't like the, the 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 alcohol i don't like the drugs because i i think you can enjoy you can enjoy the music you can enjoy the concerts the events but you don't know you don't need uh consume drugs consume alcohol the people thinks that that person with the with the with the long with the long yard with the black with the black clothes is a is a junkie no not it's okay the cultural traits is a good example because uh the cultural traits burn in in Washington, because there is a there is a band. There is a band. Is we we love the music, we love the music, but we don't like the the drugs. We don't like the alcohol. You can enjoy the concert. You can enjoy the culture, but you don't need you don't need consume that 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 substance. So the the the, the strange is a is a culture uh of the of the of the of the music so they 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 talk about the talk about the good things good things you can you can enjoy the the music you can enjoy a concert event you don't need you don't need consume drugs Okay, for, for being happy, for 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 live the moment. No, you only need the music and only only need feel free and enjoy with with you with you with your mind clean with your mind health healthy. It's a it's a problem in in all in, in the world, but. I talking about in in a in a little bit part of the world. That part is the the, the concerts, the events, the music. I love the, the the music. I love the the the, the culture, but I don't like that. I don't like that that situation. Okay, but good. Yeah, it's an interesting point of view. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's a problem, you know. Sometimes I go to concerts and there are people that are very drunk, and they don't watch the concert. I mean, 
they are there and they don't know what happened. So, yeah, music is amazing. I don't believe that I can live without music. Music is in, an important part. I believe for everybody, uh, it's, it's very important. I know that nowadays we have a lot of kinds of music, but it doesn't matter what kind of music you uh, enjoy. Yeah, what you say is totally right. You don't need drugs or alcohol or any other thing because, I mean, uh, that's no good, right? It's, it's unnecessary. So it's a very good thing. Anybody has a question for Holmo? Okay, very good. Thank you, Holmo. Okay, we have a chance for one more. Any volunteer of the last ones that haven't done? This is the last chance, last opportunity to practice. Okay, I'm gonna choose. Let's see who is it. Lucy Natalie. Okay, not possible. Let's see then. Who else is missing? Oswin Alexis. Not possible either. Nelson Antonio. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yes. Hey, could you help me with putting a song, please? Mm, okay. Because uh, I have a problem with internet. Uh, can I ask you what kind of song is it? Because sometimes uh, yes. let me explain you on that one. Uh, this it's, it's this Man song. in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Ah, okay. Uh, well, let me explain you a little bit more about that one. We cannot okay. play a song here because if we play a song like that, uh, YouTube is going to block the video because of the rights. Okay. So I, I, I have problem with, with connection. Not a problem, but you can speak about the song and we can send the song in the YouTube uh, there in the in the group if you want. So that is possible. And you can speak about the song here. Okay, jo, jo, just I want to uh, talk about the song. Of course, go ahead. This song is by by Michael Jackson. This song took about about poor, about words, and also these songs are some some singers like uh, John Lennon and some politics like um, Mahatma Gandhi, and and also this song took about about people fighting for for peace, like uh, Madre Teresa de Calcuta, and also uh, Mahatma Gandhi too. In, in addition to uh, uh, appears like uh, Bill Clinton as a president uh, uh, for United States. But in, in general, these songs Talked about a principal message. Talk about that all people we have to to change, and how we can change. We can change the world. We can change a uh, life other other people. And and finally say that if you. If you wanna make the the deep, the deep world a better place, you can start the change it yourself. If if you change, if you start change it yourself, you can change life for other people. You can change it. You can change the world. Changing the pollution, changing changing. The environment. Only I remember only that 
teacher because the song was was the principal. Okay. Yeah, it's a very nice song. I remember the song, and it's a very good thing. Is the tone is very nice, and uh, the lyrics is yeah. As you say, the message is a very nice thing, uh, because I mean, if you want to change the world, you have to start with yourself, right? You are the first one that needs to to do the change, so you can mirror that the other. Very nice, very interesting. Uh, anybody has a question for Nelson uh, Rodas? Hey, your last name is very interesting. I never heard that last name, Errodas. That is an interesting last name. Yes, teacher. Do you know any other people, any other here in El Salvador that has the same last name? Or just no, teacher. No, teacher. So whenever, whenever I ask, my name always uh, asked me for twice or three times the the name, and they had each on. Hey, it is it's first time that I heard your that name. Always, always told me that. Yeah, it's an interesting one. It's very uncommon, so that is very nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. All right, my friends. This is the end. We finished already. So, very nice. Please, please, please continue practicing. English is very important. You can practice by going to internet and do some exercises. You can dictate to Google. You can do many things. But the only thing that you cannot do is to stop practicing. Okay, let's check the attendance. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Arquimedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Good. Erika Yasmin Martinez Carpio. Present. Good. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present. Good. Herman Alexander Duran Linares. Present. Good. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. Present, sir. Good. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Holman Saúl Giron Sánchez. Present. Good. Jose Alberto Baños Hernández. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Good. Kenia Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Right here. Good. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present. Good. Nelson Antonio Roda Rosales. Present. Good. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernandez. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Zulma Janet Ramirez Ábalos. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. David Alexander Rodríguez Sánchez. Present teacher. Perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to meet you, to be with you in this module. I hope you have learned and practiced a lot. I hope you continue practicing. And if we see each other on the street, let's speak in English, okay? See you around. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for bye, bye, bye everyone. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. Thank you for, bye. Bye. for being patient with us. Bye, everybody. It's a pleasure. Bye, bye. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank everyone. you, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. It's a pleasure.